Alright, so um, I've had a look at the other videos and I've noticed that as the polygon count goes up and up and up, the, um, the frame rate of the videos goes down. So uh, hopefully you are still with us and uh, haven't given up, um, but in effort to try and um, help that, I'm going to use the reduce brush and try and get rid of some polygons in areas where we don't need quite as many. So, go under here, top of the head. Behind this ear. Anywhere where it's going to be sort of more or less facing away from camera. And also anywhere where there's sort of just, you know, very smooth geometry. It doesn't require quite as much um, of a uh, number of triangles in order to in order to sort of um, trace out the shape that's there. And so, um, yeah. That's as good as I'm going to get it for the time being. Uh, and I'm just going to try that um, hiding again. Actually, no, I won't do that for now um, because I actually want to um, address a an issue with these ears is that they they still feel a little bit too big to me and they're a little bit too clunky and because this character is very sort of um, sort of elven or elfin uh, very sort of um, uh, fey in her appearance uh, I'd like these ears to be a little bit smaller and more delicate so um, you heard me talk about before the global setting uh, and uh, one of the global uh, things that we used was the scale on the eyes. Well, if we don't have the global button checked, this is kind of how it functions. So I've got the XYZ checked so that um, uh, so that it's actually I can't remember whether that makes it uniformly scale or whether that means that it scales based on your movement. But at any rate, we'll find out. So I'm just going to uh, come in here, shrink that down a little bit. I might shrink this ear down like that. So we can see that this is a lot more, a lot more delicate, a lot sort of a little bit pointier, a bit. A um, bit more of a sort of a nice looking ear for our elven type character. So yeah, I'm, I'm more happy with that. Notice that the back of the skull here is sticking out quite a bit as well. So I'm just going to come in here and move that back just so that we don't have as much of a ridge there. And so just making sure that we clean that up. Make sure we haven't messed up the ear too much. Doesn't look like it. And uh, just going to make sure that we don't make the back of the head too pointy. So yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with that. So there we go. Um, I might fix up this chin because she's got a bit of a a ridge coming along the bottom of the chin there. So just smooth that down. Yep. We don't we don't need to sort of make that chin too pointy because it is quite a narrow chin anyway. And uh, this is if if we wanted to we could extend out a neck, uh, create an entire sort of head and shoulders bust, or um, if you wanted to you could create an entire body if your computer is up to the task. Uh, mine isn't, 
but um, yeah, if you've got some sort of sim super computer, then go for it. Um, but um, uh, for now, I'm just going to I'm just going to be happy with the head. Uh, and the only other thing is that there's a little bit of a bump in the middle here, uh, in the middle of the eyebrows. So I'm just going to come in here with our grab, and I'll move this back a bit, flatten it out. And I'll just take these side brows and just bring them forward just a little bit. And I might tighten them up there. And you see it's a very sort of subtle change, but the sort of the reflection, the 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 colour that uh is reflected off that, um it uh, it comes through a lot better now. And um and so there we go. That's um that's more or less a complete sculpt. Uh, if we wanted to, we could come in and um, uh, do some more detail on the inside of this mouth. Uh, we can also um, perhaps um, close this, this gap here uh, a bit better. So I'll, I'll try that with the, um, with the just masking off that area there. I'll, um, reduce strength and just sort of shade that out a bit better. And up there. Okay. And just making sure that the strength is nice and low. I might actually reduce the the um, mask there and increase it there. And um, we do that so that we can grab the bottom corner of this mouth and uh, not be grabbing the top lip while we're doing that. So now we can sort of close that, that corner a little bit better, like that. And again, come in here move things out a bit, move things in maybe. And I'm also looking at the way that light is sort of reflected off the, uh, the surfaces that I have created. So we don't want too many um, either hard edges or sort of edges or raised hills where we don't we don't expect them to be. I'm just going to bring that lip in a little bit there. And so yeah, you can um, you can sort of see the, the, the power that is available with sculptures. And um, if you wanted to, um, you could uh, come in here and sculpt these eyeballs a little bit better. And you can see with the wireframe on that they are more or less just the same basic spheres. And you'll notice that we have actually affected these, eye uh, these eyeballs when we did the scale on the ears there. But for the most part, it's that's inside the head and it shouldn't be too much of a problem. If you wanted to, you could um, now just sort of, with, um, with smaller sort of brush sizes like this. And again, because we're sort of increasing the polygon count, we are going to get a certain amount of lag. That's all right. And then just if we look at it like that. I think that's a good good position there. So I'm just going to hold down control uh, just to just to mark off that area, rehide that. And again I'll come in with the masking and just click it enough times that we are getting 
that sort of eye look there and uh, if that is too small I, I think it's alright just sort of look at it this way and now if we invert that and we'll go with the inflate rather than a straight move and just sort of create a bit of a, a lens there a bit of a pupil sticking out and again smooth it so it's not too severe and if you wanted to you could come in with the draw and just sort of create more of a pupil here like that. that's probably far too bug-eyed um, so again just make it sort of subtle So you can see how we, we can get the suggestion of an eye in there. And you can you can put that pupil anywhere you want if you wanted it sort of higher up, if you wanted the eyelids to come down further. But personally I preferred it without the and it looks like yeah, I can't sort of undo it any more than that. So I'll just sort of I'll just take that out and then smooth it down as much as possible. Maybe you can flatten it. Yeah, I sort of follow you around the room, don't they? But there you go. That's how you. Um oh, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I like that better. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, that's how you, um, you use Sculptress.